End of the line, folks. Hey folks, how are you? Joe here. We have a brand new sponsor for today's video, Vessi Footwear. These shoes are amazing. Now Vessi sent me two pairs last week, yeah, about, about two weeks ago actually, and I've been using my other pair all around my property here. These are the ones I have not worn, but check these things out. They are lightweight, waterproof, breathable, bendable, antibacterial, non-slip grip, slip on quality shoes. I have been wearing the other pair that I have for the past two weeks taking tripper on hikes, through muddy puddles, in the bush, cleaning up brush in my bush in the front, down by the lake, all sorts of things, and they have stayed completely waterproof. I'm talking waterproof, not water resistant, waterproof. My socks have stayed dry and not even damp through, and they are lightweight. When I used to go outside, I would grab my boots because I just would slip them on because it's easy. But they're way heavy and I don't have any kind of like dexterity with them and my feet get fatigued when I'm walking around and things like that. I'm talking boots that you slip on. These things are lightweight. I can even throw them in my backpack for a set of camp shoes and look, they slide on in two seconds. The comfortable knitted material the shoe's made out of is made from Dymatex. It keeps you cool in the summer, warm in the winter and it does not feel like it should be waterproof. There's less material waste due to the knitting process and there's no animal byproducts. So Vessi just launched their new everyday move shoe. They're designed for those looking to take their activities and exploring up a notch. There's enhanced breathability, all day comfort and added support. It's perfect for the days when you're feeling adventurous and looking for a sportier look. So Vessi's are quickly becoming my go-to shoe when I leave the house. I swear I grab these over any other pair of my footwear. They're just easy to put on, they look good, they keep me dry, it's, it's a no-brainer. If you want to try them out, Vessi's going to hook you up. You can go to the link below and use code Robinette to get $25 off your first Vessi shoe order. It's code Robinette in the link below to get $25 bucks off. So thanks Vessi for sponsoring a video. I really do like your shoes. Thank you guys for watching the video. On to the big one. Well folks, who's this? Say hey, hi. everybody. It's been a while. It's been what, since Killarney? Killarney, yeah. Over a year, right? Year and a half, easy. So we're over on the Toab Trail. We're hiking today and we have a pretty cool uh, trip. We're gonna do a pack raft adventure on the way out. So we're hiking along the Agua River and we've done this before, maybe two, three years ago? Three, four. Uh, at, least, at least three. So um, anyways, we're gonna hike to the end. We're gonna camp at a waterfall, try and catch some salmon on the way. And then on the way out, we're gonna pack raft the whole length of the river that we hiked along today to get out there. Whee! This is a first for both of us. We just uh, literally blew up the pack rafts last night for the first time, <laughs> messed around with them. So we got them in our backpacks. And uh, yeah, man, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, yeah. Stocking up on some water before we cut away from the stream until we hit the river. Oh, she's a cold one, Doug. Oh, man. That is that's going to be refreshing. That's probably good. You can probably stop it now so I can conserve it. Okay. Yep. 
<laughs> you got it. I think they, they got this. Okay. Oh, I So then I says to Mabel, I says, yeah. Mabel, where's Hazel? <laughs> nice fall day. No trees. No trees. No trees. <laughs> nice fall day. No leaves on the trees. But then you look right here. It's full leaves and green still. Literally out of a sea of birch, one has its leaves still. Well, I am. This hill. This hill. I, I, I already. I on either side. Yeah, I remember. Remember, there's a last time there was the uh, the chicken halfway on the left hand side. Just, the long swooping hill. Tell the <laughs> folks what you mean by chicken. A grouse. A grouse or a, a partridge. A rough grouse. Oh, uh, maybe a spruce. Or a spruce. Or a spruce hen. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. I think up here is better. You think you want to do the safe way? A safe way, maybe. There we are. There's the river. We're gonna make our way down, fill up our water bottles again, maybe take a fiver. We kind of hoofed it pretty quick to get here because we we're excited. Only seven more kilometers? Yeah, it's like Dang, the worst bro. seven though. Remember it's I know, but that's I was prepping for a lot more than that. <laughs> it does, it's not a not a long trail at all, but it does get uh hilly, quite hilly in the middle. <laughs> oh beauty. Burn to rock. What a beautiful spot. Yeah, I'm gonna take five here. Yeah, which I, oh, I I have to do some casts here. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, good call. Tomorrow we're gonna be bouncing down the river. <laughs> yeah, that's moving, hey? Yeah, it is. It's not bad. We'll have to take the corners, the bends, pretty uh, skillfully, carefully. Who knows? Who knows what we're gonna do? Luckily, we're in like. A oh, that's perfect. Safety bubbles. In our Look way. at that. This is gonna be a fun time, dude. I think so. I think so. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh. Doug caught a beauty fish. Let's go check it out. <laughs> These rocks are so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> my ass! Oh, my butt's soaking wet. Yeah. Dude, hold it up. Keep it nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, man. Gorgeous. Okay. okay. He's on film, yeah? Yeah. Whoo! That was a big fish. That was exciting. A little bit wet. That was exciting. Nice job. On the trail again. That paddle's clanging together. Once again. Attention! Glissant plus and less sentier est escarpe et glissant. Just come strolling across. A little black bear? A little black bear. So amazing. These paddles are uh, one of the new fence being so tall over the back. It's a little too, but it would be a good case to do it again. You've got a four piece paddle. Uh, yeah. On account of they're, uh, they're uh, shorter. On account of they're shorter and you don't catch every tree. Another campsite we're coming across here. I'm going to drop my bag and go out to the river and check it out. This is going to be so much fun to go down in the pack raft. I think it's got enough. Uh, depth to the water too and if not you just bounce off with the pack raft pretty cool 
Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool little spot. Nice camp again. I'd be lying if I was saying the paddles aren't hitting any tree branches at all. <laughs> it's quite often. But uh, like Doug just said, we are skirting the river here. And this is our good vantage point to look for obstacles, widowmakers, what have you, that may be... Man, is that pretty or what? That may be hindering us tomorrow, blocking our, our paddle out in our rafts. But, like, it's moving quick. And uh, as far as we can see here, it's pretty good to go. And Doug has left me. Douglas! Douglas! Look at this trail. Back into the forest we go. Here's something kind of cool. Check this out. So this is obviously a beaver chew, right? right? Nobody chopped that with an ax. And look how high it is. We don't have giant beavers. We don't have giant beavers here. So obviously, what happened, Doug? Tell the people. Too close to the Creekside camp. <laughs> what? Your stumps are too high. Oh God. That was a comment, eh? Oh my. Um, anyway, so the real reason is because it was a winter beaver. There was snow on the ground. Yeah, I know the stumps were high, but I didn't need the pieces below because they were all wampus. I understand. They, were, they weren't straight. I just read your comment. I hear you. This is beauty, man. Epic scenery in here. I'm going to stay in the middle. Stay in the middle lane. It's shallow. Shallow, shallow in the middle here. Yeah. I'm coming around this side. Oh, look at down there. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. No, I'm coming down that side for sure. All right. Beauty campsite here. Some benches. Nice pool. Good water access. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. beauty well here's the tree where every Canadian is born we all just come out of that and I should dig that up I made you crawled right in there last time I did a tree look at that now that I'm a, a bark carver like bark is bark eh? bark is bark and you can, uh, you can right. carve that up look at that tree You guys heard it here first. Bark is bark. Straight out of the carver's mouth. Bark is bark, bro! Oh, I think we might have talked about this last time too, actually. Oh, octopi. Perfect tree. Perfect tree. Oh, shoot! Slippery. Slippery. The little grooves in there? Yeah. I got... Oh, there's a funky smell. You smell that? It's you. It's a little wet, slick. Oh, I'm pulling you. <laughs> foot drop. I'm plunging into the cold, icy river. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing the trail in. Yeah, eh? that's the ticket. Look at all this, eh? It's just sheared right off. All those big rocks. Super cool. Well, we're just coming up to our first spot where we think we might have to portage around tomorrow. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty rapidy down there. You can't see most of it from here, but <laughs> she's a bit much, I think. That much for me. We'll go check it out, but I imagine that'll be a portage, but no big deal. Uh, I don't know, actually. It doesn't look that bad. We'll have to see what it looks like over past that rock, but it really doesn't look too bad. See, around the other side of this rock, it gets pretty dicey in there. Standing waves. Just with all the all the rock around, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you tomorrow. Anyways, back on the truck.
It's, it looks exciting. It looks very exciting. Oh, we're halfway up the hill. <laughs> How you feeling, Dougie? Oh, good. Real good. <laughs> we just got to go up there where the sun is. Just into the sun. Whew. No biggie. Came from down there. I drank all my water. Yeah. yeah, nowhere near the lake, the river now. Still going up. That's a climb. Ah, the bowl. Oh man, that's pretty vertical. Okay. Look at that mushroom. Funky town. Oh. Won't you take me to the mushroom town? I am the glob glob glob. Use this opportunity to get some water here at this waterfall. So we've been away from the river for quite some time now. So that part will be a mystery tomorrow on the paddle out. But it looks like we might be coming towards it again here. So much moss here, very thick. Depth. Yeah. Well, we're on our ascent now. Sorry, our descent. We're on our. We're going down. And uh, I can hear the river down here somewhere. We going down. Once you go back up, you can't go down again. I think we'll be sliding down before it's over. Oh no. Lead the way, Doug the Billy Goat. Oh my goodness. I'm not, I'm not following suit, bud. Oh, nothing. Have a good time. Oh, ho, ho. we're almost down the steps of Mordor here. Oh no. Oh no. That was a big, big climb down. Jimani! Christmas. Ugh. It's uh... You gotta kinda pick your way along. It's seven kilometers takes a while. <laughs> I was for one, spill. one spill? You're not gonna get it, I'm sorry. I'm still light on my feet, dog. Give me another ten years. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Is this where we take five, Doug? Zone, tow up two, campsite one of two. Oh my goodness. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Oh, the river looks good from here. We it's gonna be a mystery down that ways, but it's awesome. I wonder what way it comes from, that way or that way. So we brought our life jackets this time, packing them in. Necessity, I'll be wearing mine. Um, I'm excited, man. This is something I've not done before and I've wanted to do for a long time. So the wraps that we're using are by Coco Pelli. I have the Rogue, the Rogue, I believe. Look at, oh no. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. That's uh. That's need, the problem with these things. You need to borrow a filter? Okay. I, uh, yeah, but you have, how long have you had that for? 
This year. Yeah. You buy one every year. It's too hard on things. I buy three a year. I don't think that pinhole's ever been that big on mine. Where's the fire? Not there, because you just doused it with your water. So it's the Rogue? You have the Rogue. I have the... I don't know. Can't remember. But mine is for lake duty, not rapids. So, we shall destroy it tomorrow. Hey. We just did the same thing. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> unintentional. It was terrible. That was unintentional. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You all situated? Oh, well, a very nice spot for lunch as we leave zone two. <laughs> and just like that, back on the trail. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, look at that little tent spot right there. This is really cool, check this out. So this is yellow birch growing. There's a secondary shoot growing down at the ground and grows right inside of the tree. Symbiosis or not, because they're the same thing. Well, if you watched our last video here, you'll know there's some trees out here over top of the river. I think too low to the, the water to skirt underneath them. So this is gonna have to, yeah, there's three, or this is gonna have to be a portage, I think, but we'll see. Maybe, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't really pointing it up. So this is the spot where we're gonna have to pull out. There's no way, the water's too high. That looks like a death trap. Yeah, no good, no good, man. The funnest part of the river too. So I think our camp was just up around the corner. So I think we'll probably end up carrying it. Just put in here. We'll be putting in. Right in that. We'll yeah. see if I'm right, but I believe we camped just up around the corner. <laughs> I will be airing on the uh, on side of caution because we have zero experience with the, uh, the rafts. That's right. So, no time to be a dummy. So there's a possibility of going to the right uh, in another fork, another channel around those uh, trees. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. If we're, if we're camped close to here, as we think we might be, we might just hike down and put in past that stuff because the other side looks very shallow too. There wasn't trees down, but it was almost like you're gonna be slogging through it. So we'll see where we end up camping tonight. We don't really remember exactly how far down, but Doug thinks it's pretty close. He's been right for most of the nonsense today so oh I'll, I'll listen to him on this one we're just approaching our last campsite the campsite we stayed at three or so years ago when doug and i hiked out here yeah oh look that's where i have my that's where i slept last time right where that puddle is <laughs> this is where i i slept in the bivy of death yeah the sweat bivy well, look at that falls oh yeah Oh, just a little brookie guy, a little tiny baby. There he goes. There he goes. Good. That was an equal fish to yours, for sure. Yeah, that's the same, really. <laughs> Hard to tell the difference. So, we're gonna put in just after this little rock garden, and we'll get a bunch of that fun rapid stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. Have I mentioned that? Well, that was, that was fun. Pulled out a little brookie, had another one on. Doug had a couple on, and uh, yeah, now we're gonna go up this big incline and I'm gonna regret putting my long sleeve shirt on. We're gonna hike up to the top of the waterfall, camp up there. Very, very slippery.
This is very, very slippery. Sorry. Lots of inclines. Lots of climbing. Oh, my little heart's pounding. Come on, Santa. Ooh, buddy. If that doesn't get the heart pumping, I don't know, man. <laughs> Big old waterfall. Huge drop. Still hiking. The screen's gonna get all wet from the mist. Down the river we go. All right, here we are. Much nicer camp than at the bottom of the, the falls where we stayed last year, or the last time. So there's some flat real estate, which is very, uh, very nice. It's loud here. There, camp is made. Oh, 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 I heard the old bum bum on that one. That's a little, a little slanty. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Thanks, zero. Zero, it'll be fine. It's gonna be nine degrees. Minus nine right here. It's gonna, oh, we'll take the, we'll take the plus it's gonna be nine degrees tonight. It doesn't even feel like it's nine degrees right now. Oh, this is a slick setup. Shoom, Doug's Shoom. So you did, you did, you did end up trimming on. Took a foot off of the front. Off the awning here, yeah. I used to come down about here, but I couldn't sit up in it. Right. So, I mean, I don't need extra coverage. Once... No, you're in there. You're in there. That's pretty cool, man. I gotta say, it went up pretty quick too. Give us a taste. Give us a taste. Oh yeah, look at you, Hobbit Doug. <laughs> no, not for the video. We're on the quest for water, but it's we're at the top of a waterfall here. It's 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 moving pretty good. Please be careful. End of the line, folks. myself because you probably don't really care but I got cheese oh boy got a little slice of cheese plop, plop. let that melt in there and I'll eat in about five minutes wow I'm a hungry boy 
cut. All right? What times I gotta tell you? Uh, <laughs> Doug's having a little issues with his rehydration <laughs> process. My lasagna's hard. <laughs> Nobody likes hard lasagna noodles. <laughs> well, we're uh, just hanging up by the fire. It's almost bedtime. We're just gonna stoke it up one more time. It's getting uh, one more time. One more time. It's getting a little chilly. Tonight. <laughs> a little, little on the chilly side. There was no Paris today. Doug thinks I'm gonna not make it through the night. Tell him about your sleeping bag. Oh, it's very wet. The uh, <laughs> yeah, everything's very, very wet. So I draped a tarp over top of the sleeping bag, but it's so damp and cold up here. <laughs> Isn't it? That waterfall is not your friend. <laughs> the waterfall is making everything damp and cold. Stay away from the waterfall, folks. Don't go chasing them. Oh. <laughs> this is not great. Uh, we're in bed, though. So. Good night. Pack crafting in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's good. <laughs> Well, that was one of the worst nights sleep I've ever had in my life. How about you, Doug? Top two. Top two, he says. Second to the Only second to the bivy of wet not goodness last time. So, uh, yeah, pretty cold. Um, I didn't get wet. I had to take that tarp off me because, like Doug said, the condensation got trapped in between and I was getting soaked. But after I took that off, it wasn't too wet. Doesn't change the fact that I slept like piss. Uh, it's like 8.30 now. Um, it's, we're not ready to get in these rafts, are we? Oh, no. Not at all. There's a big old mist over the water. It's, uh, when you get out, even your hands get cold. Like, it's cool. I was like constantly like doing the worm last night trying to warm up oh my goodness okay he's doing the stupid worm all night looks wiggling 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 wiggle 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 <laughs> what did you do all night listen listen to podcasts i listened to podcasts yeah <laughs> I, uh, I had three hour podcasts and i would put the sleep timer on and then every 20 minutes i'd wake up do it again <laughs> i slept at best, two and a half hours. At best. <laughs> I just laid there and kept rolling and tossing and turning. Too. It's damp. It's, it's damp cold. Like, it's not, like I, I would rather, we would have been in better shape in the middle of winter. Yeah, dry, yeah. Like, it is so wet. Like, like you can't, it's never going to come across. <laughs> but it's just this misty cold. Man. <laughs> he ain't lying. He ain't lying. Alright, let's get up. I'll show you the fog over the water and uh, start to deal with our day. All right, after much debate, we found a good spot to put in. We think it's a good spot at least. So it's kind of cramped in here. Doug's down the way there, but we're gonna get our pack rafts out and blown up here. Take some doing. I tied it together with a jam knot, Canadian jam knot at that. So inflating these things might take a little finessing, getting used to it, but basically this is the gist of it. Once you get a large amount of air in the bag, it tends to go pretty quick, but the valve you gotta keep uh, at the end, you gotta close it and finish it off by the mouth. Finish it off with your mouth. Best kind. A moment of truth. 
<laughs> you ready, Doug? Ready. I think, I think I'm ready. <laughs> Same here, bud. Oh, they spin. It spins. Holy, it spins. Oh man, it's very, very spinny. Did I mention it? It spins. Oh, this spins. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's spinny. We're about to go. How do you feel? I feel like my bag should be tied down. Tied down? But I don't really want to tie it down. How far is this taking over the front? Not far at all. No? Not even. Okay. Well, here we are into it. I hope you can see something over top of my backpack. If not, I'll try to fix it here next time we stop, if we get to stop. There's some rocks. Quite a bit of rocks. <laughs> okay, this is great fun already. That was great. Yeah. And, it, and it wasn't even anything, right? Like that was just a little bit of moving water, but these boats are the most responsive things going. Look at that. I think Doug's liking it too. We're gonna get up here to some shallow stuff. Uh, so who knows if we have to get out or not. I certainly don't wanna ding up the bottom of the boat, but it is pretty durable, pretty tough. Well, we came to a shallow spot. Gonna have to walk it a little bit here. No big deal. What? Yep. This is pretty smooth sailing, I think, here. Woo, here we go, some rapids. Here's some rapids. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Bumpity, 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 bumpity. <laughs> like I can wait till the last second where that rock is. I can just wait and be like, "Yoop." <laughs> the only danger is missing that scope. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I, yeah. No, this is pretty solid, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of fun, dude. That was a good one. So it's looking pretty shallow up here. Doug and I are just gonna kind of scout it. Oh, scout it from this side. You know what? I'm just going. I'm just going. Oh yeah. Get almost scratched up. Yeah, this is fine actually. 
This is so much fun. I'm definitely doing this again. I can see this pack rat becoming uh, part of the old arsenal. Pretty, pretty awesome view. <laughs> Just woo! <laughs> No, Bill, Bill! No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking! I'm joking! I was joking! I swear, I yelled I'm joking 15 times, Doug! Come on! Oh, man, Doug! <laughs> Doug might be real mad with me, I'm not sure. <laughs> he held up around the corner to let me go first to see if there was if it was safe to come around the bend or if there was a waterfall and I yell back I go bail bail and he starts to go I go no I'm joking right away I scream I'm joking like 15 times and he doesn't hear me he jumps out of his boat <laughs> he's soaking wet now <laughs> he's way back there I think he's pissed <laughs> oops I yelled I was joking literally a microsecond after I yelled bail he must not have been able to hear me. <laughs> Shit. You good? Funny man. You're a very funny man. <laughs> I was over here just like crying, laughing so hard. Did you have that on camera? No. No, I told them. But I was like, I don't, Doug might be mad with me. I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> Well, isn't this cool? There's Doug coming. Walking his boat. He's not angry with me. <laughs> At least he says he's not. <laughs> this is so cool. I freaking love this thing. Coco Pelli for the win. What a gorgeous area. Gorgeous day. Gorgeous George. All right, so we gotta check this out. This is a spot yesterday that we thought we might have had to uh, portage around. I'm gonna go scope it out and see. I feel pretty confident in this thing, but just wanna double, triple check that it's all good. All right, I scoped it out. I really don't know. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because I really want to. So let's see how she goes. This is sketchy. But this is what we're here for. This is gonna be the most white water I've ever run. Oh no, I've done more in California. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Too much at the end there. Too much. Can I go this way? What? No, why? chickened out chickened out at the last minute wow that almost pulled me right in wow i'm sure i'm glad i pulled out at the last minute there that yeah i even just kind of went next to it at the bottom and it was sucking me in and under that was a lot of turbulence Whew. okay maybe next time old joe at least i didn't have to portage Woo! got a little wet a little wet on that one. Oh, my butt is so wet. Woo! I have a wet buttocks. Well, this is a nice little quick moving swift going around the uh, around the bend here. I think Doug's gonna take the shallow side and kind of walk. I'm just gonna go through again because this raft is much more durable. 
Oh yeah, there's some moving water here, boy and girl. Singular. This is a little, this is totally fine. Doug should have came this way. Totally fine. Sideways. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Nice maneuvers. Yep, that's it. That's the out. What a good time. Oh. That's all she wrote. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I had a lot of fun too. What do you think, Doug? All right. I think we're gonna call it a video right here. We only got a little 20 minute hike out. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. <laughs> and uh, that was a good trip. All in all, the end made made up for it. Definitely made up for freezing our our butts off last night. I am, to be fair, I am soaked to the bone. <laughs> Can't wait to change the clothes in the truck. Yep. And but I'm not cold. I am cold. I'm not cold. And wet. But uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did that. I'm looking forward, like I said, 18 times already. This is a lake pack. <laughs> this is not made for this. But I'm looking forward to just having it available when I'm out tooting around. Even just to go at home, just down the river, or just to have. Just, just when you're tooting around. Just tooting around. That's it. Yeah, that's worth it. Right. Well, you have fun? The last couple hours made up for the whole trip. It was that of, was amazing. It was a lot of fun. That was so much fun. I'm definitely doing this again. I'm going to look for other spots to do this with. This thing's held up uh, awesome, and I can carry it, which was a surprise to me. So this is our first time in one. A little apprehensive at first, but uh, knocked her out of the park and felt very comfortable about five seconds in. So Very safe. Yeah. All right, we're going to call it here. Uh, 20 minutes hike to the car, then change of clothes, and a long, long drive. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks to Doug for coming and hanging out. No problem. See you next time. What? I said see you next oh, time. Oh, all right then. We're in it. Can I end it? I see it. Should I just, just I'm just put it. I see it. I'll never see you again.